Hey, Pro Shop fans, today we're here with our special guest, first time in studio, Pro, Pro Shop TV in studio, home of the world's largest rod and patch holder, just so you'd note. And our specialty guest would like to talk a little bit about our military and law enforcement side kit. Uh, this is Rob Mathis, I want to introduce to you. My name is John Dameron, I'm president here at Pro Shop. And Rob has been uh, working with us for years on the military and law enforcement side, and uh, he's here to tell you a little bit about himself and some pro shot kits. So say a big hello to Rob out there on the video and how you doing today, Rob? Thanks, John, I appreciate it. How are y'all today? Glad to be here in Taylorville, Illinois with John and his family and all of his staff here at uh, uh, Pro Shot Products and uh, thank you for the opportunity, John. It's always been a pleasure. Um, have you. John uh, and I met seven, eight years ago and we started talking about what else can we do to his commercial retail business that John does? And he has approximately, correct me if I'm wrong, about 3,500 retail customers in the U.S. now. Yeah, approximately like that, yeah. And I think it's 94 cust uh, countries. Yes, sir. So what else could we do? Um, we did a quick analysis of the military law enforcement tactical market and figured out that um, there was a one supplier that was supplying those needs and we could pride, provide a better product at a better price and at better service rates. And so uh, we created ProShot Defense Catalog in 2018. That's right. And uh, a whole line of ProShot products for, that were defense related. When we went out, we went to see quite a few of the SOCOM tier one units and got their feedback. What were they looking for? What did they need? And some great things came out of those uh, uh, opportunities to find out exactly what the end user was looking for. One of the products that we uh, created was what we call the Ruck series. And the Ruck series was designed especially in many different formats, but in this format it was a 9mm and 5.56 rod kit that, as you can see, the width and the thickness of it could literally fit into a uh, M4 magazine holder. Um, all of the products that uh, you see in this, these, these kits are 100% made here in Taylorville, Illinois uh, by John's staff and family. Um, we have the highest quality, and I'm going to ask John to kind of walk you through some of the quality features, but we have the highest quality, the greatest service, and at a most affordable price. And one of the other things that we discussed with most of the armorers and uh, the military was how do I just get a brush, or how do I just get a jag? I've got an armor and armory and I am missing products but I don't want to buy all new kits. So discussing it with John we created since we manufacture every bit of this that you're, John's going to walk you through we created an open stock program so an armor can just buy whatever piece from Pro Shot that he actually needs to fill his bins for in his armory. Um, this was very, very big for us and created an opportunity with SOCOM to create, they came to us and asked could we produce a rolling waterproof armor's case. Well since John and his family and staff make everything from a, literally from a 22 uh, cleaning rod brush jag, we laugh up to a 155 millimeter brush jag and cleaning device. It's literally since we manufacture and it's right here on this premises in Taylorville, Illinois, we can literally pull whatever product that the end user desires. And I'm going to be facetious, but it could be as much as a 22 ruck kit with a 338 Lapua, which we all know is, is entertaining, won't happen in real life, but since we manufactured all, it creates such an ease to, manuf to be able to make a kit that the end user specifically needs. On this rolling armors kit that we did, um, we are able to build that kit. Do you want 9mm and 5.56 only? Do you want 9.45, 5.56 and 7.62? Do you need 12 gauge uh, cleaning material in it? So the end user defines their needs and what they want and what they need in that kit 
and then uh, the Pro Shop family builds that kit for that end user or end user group. Exactly. Thanks, Rob. And Rob has been instrumental in the development of these kits uh, with his vast years of over 40 years in the military uh, sales and uh, market and law enforcement market all over the world. Um, for a long time, he has always believed in American-made products and uh, given the best service, and that's how we actually uh, met each other through a discussion of that. And we just built a relationship and started working to provide our men and women of the armed forces a better equipment at a better price, and that was always our goal. Uh, one of the things that we've always done at ProShot is make an excellent cleaning rod, and by that we do a stainless steel rod and it's double coated. So we double coat the rod by doing a steel process on it called burnishing or micro polishing it. Then after that we actually do our own Pro Tough coating, which is proprietary coating that can take the heat, can take the use, and just really lasts a long time and you can clean it with your barrel and you know it's safe. The other thing we do is where we're the only manufacturer in the world where every rod section is the same, even on a coated rod. What's that do? If you lose a section, if you break one out in the field, you're still in the game and still in the bottle because you got another one. On the handle itself, uh, this is something that I designed and it is a locking swivel T handle. What makes this unique is once you put the rod together, you can screw that in and you're, say you're cleaning your 556 and you want to put your chamber brush on. on that end, then you can lock the handle down and actually turn it and it doesn't spin. So that's what's cool about that. It's a, a nice T handle. It swivels when you need it for the rifling and it also locks when it, it is in stationary position. Talk to them a little bit, John, about the durability and the lack of bend. If you're running on a long barrel and you really push through there, you're not going to have warping in your rods. Yeah, so one, one of the things that we found definitely uh, with the current uh, military rod system is that, you know, it's been in place since the 70s. Um, they really haven't updated any of the cleaning equipment on the rod system itself. Uh, the pull-through system has, but not the rods. So what we had done is incorporate everything we've always done in the Benchress market by making a better quality gun cleaning rod and putting this into our military law enforcement side as well. So it not only is a sturdier and more durable rod, it doesn't flex so you don't hit the uh, insides of your barrel and it has maximum pro uh, protection with a coat, double coated rod. So no matter what, you won't damage your barrel. The steel itself is also less harder than the barrel steel, so you never have to worry about that too. And then you also designed with your crew the squib piece. Can you walk them through a little bit yeah. on what, because I just heard a guy say to me the other day that he had had a uh, 308 malfunction and we suggested that and that's what he is now using. Right, so what this is is a bore obstruction remover and this piece screws onto the end of the rod and uh, the ruck kit itself is actually very small and compact. You can put it in your pocket, in your side of your pants pocket, or you can actually, like Ruck, Rob said, you can put it in your uh, same place as your 30 round magazines. Uh, when you're out in the field or at the range and you get a stuck or jammed cartridge or a squib load in the barrel itself, uh, you need a sturdy gun cleaning rod or something to knock it out. And what you can do with this, it's been proven, it's been done on the battlefield already with this piece, is make it to where you can stay in the fight. You know, you just take the rod, jam it down there, and you're back in, you know? Awesome. Awesome. So the, the one another piece uh, that we did was we took the Borelite chamber flag and made it out of a material that's basically indestructible. I mean, you can run it over the Humvee and it still doesn't break. Can't say you won't break it somehow, but it's pretty durable and it also acts as a nice bore light. It's perfect for your 9mm 45, 5.56 5 stuff. It really uh, you know, provides safety as you're moving around everywhere, even if you're storing them at home. Uh, one of the specialty things that we developed is our mil-spec CLP. It's a, a bio version, and so it's passed all of the tests at RDEC, all different tests, meaning the salt spray test for 100 hours. It's uh, the 1,000 rate fire test. It surpassed that with zero stoppages. It also provides maximum protection from super extreme cold weather to the super extreme heat. What was, do you remember the temperature ranges on the, how, what below zero it was to, and what? So, yeah, so it's like minus 70. Yeah, that's what I minus thought. Minus 70. So it's super cold and it keeps your weapons functioning and able to, uh, you know, so they don't lock up in, in the extreme cold. Definitely. So that's another addition we added to the wreck. All the items on the table, all fit in the rec kit itself 
and it's fully contained and it comes with a guide on how to use all the products itself. And from that point, we also developed it in Coyote and Black, which you can see the pouches out here too. So this has been something that's been very popular for uh, in our military division and it's uh, been well received. Talk to me a little bit, John, on, <clears throat> I know when you're talking about the CLP going down to 70 below zero, that's not done in a lab, that's actually done in Alaska, in the Arctic. Um, walk me through Master Proven sure. and uh, how you got connected and what does a Master Proven certified item mean to your customer? Sure, so Master Proven is a third party organization of former military professionals. Uh, it was started by Master Sergeant Grady Burrell and what he has done is puts things through extreme tests in field conditions all over the world. Uh, not only himself, but his team take a product like the Ruck Series Kit has taken it before we put it out to market, put it through extreme tests, make sure it works. Um, in all the different conditions that you'll experience, he makes it happen. He, he basically vets and, and tests these kits and says, hey, this is going to work for people in the armed forces and also in the commercial market. Well, I know that he told me that uh, he was doing some cold weather gear for SOCOM and before they would consider purchase that they took it to Alaska and I believe he told me he was at 40 something below zero in it. And um, so having that seal of approval, if you want to call it that, yeah. really gives credibility that this is the real deal and this is not make believe. Absolutely. So once Master Proven has put their stamp seal on there, you know it's been run through the, for a course of tests and extreme uh, battle conditions, uh, range conditions, about anything that you could think of, that's what they try to think of and put it through. And uh, if there's an adjustments or revisions that need made, they come back and talk to us and say, hey, maybe we need to do this and it'll make it better, and that's what we do. You know, we take their recommendations very seriously and uh, what, what their experience is in the field as military people uh, over the past, you know, like Grady himself has been in 30 years. Uh, so that a vast experience of traveling everywhere and using weapons in different scenarios and, and situations and environments makes it makes it all the better for us, I think. John, can you tell the audience out there kind of a background on how ProShot was started and the military background that relates to the ProShot family and uh, kind of where you've been, where you are, where you're going? I know you just did completion of the acquisition of Clingmore from uh, another company and maybe walk through a little historical on uh, the, uh, the beginning since you started in 1982, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah so back in 1982, uh, my father started the company and I was a youngster and he enjoyed shooting and competition shooting all over the world. Uh, it also worked out that my grandfather was a Marine and my grandmother were both sergeants. Both of them were sergeants in the Marines, served in World War II and he also served in Korea again. And so that gives a military background to start with. I always loved the armed forces and military, and that's kind of why when I met you, I knew I wanted to work in this market and uh, provide better gear out there. And at that point in 82, we started making our own gun cleaning patches and rods, and uh, we've grown from that point on to have a full line and the acquisition of Clean Bore in last year. And, uh, you know, we just try to make the best quality products and, and help customers out all we can. Well, you know, one of the things that... Uh, I guess brought me after I met John was the family's commitment, his staff's commitment to the warfighter, the law enforcement professional, and they truly, truly bleed. We're here to take care of the warfighter and the law enforcement professional and, and the consumer. And whether that's a retail account, international account, whatever, um, probably the nicest family and staff that I've ever met and truly live each and every day. The uh, warfighter and the law enforcement professional, um, they deserve the best equipment they can have out there Absolutely. and at a price. And um, that, that in these budget times that are, they have restrictions in, we want to be able to get that gear into the end user's hand. Absolutely. We're about you know, providing the best equipment, the best price, like I told you, and our, our family has a passion for gun cleaning and accessories. Uh, it started from when I was a child. I'm second generation, but I was also there from day one. And we have uh, four generations that are active participating in ProShark uh, right now. So it is a family affair, and uh, it's been something that we've really uh, enjoyed doing. And 
try to get better at it every day. And live it and breathe it, right? Absolutely, that's, every day, That's man. awesome. That's Absolutely. awesome. We, uh, one of the things, again, as I said earlier, the flexibility that we have since we manufacture everything in this house um, is that we can do rod kits, we can do pull-through kits, we can do rod pull-through kits, we can do multiple caliber kits. We don't tell the customer or the end user what you need. You tell us what you need for your mission, your uh, 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 everyday needs, and we try to build that kit. And as I said, everything's open stock, so when an armor or when a uh, law enforcement department needs to buy just the gear that they need. They do not have to buy all new kits for uh, their entire unit or department or whatever. And we try so hard to help the warfighter and the law enforcement professional get the goods that they need at a price. When we're all dealing with budget constraints, we know it's a problem. Absolutely. And uh, we hear that all the time. And like you said, the, the kit deal was a big thing when we were able to offer um, individual pieces because of before we found uh, even at different installations they were going and pulling another kit just for a brush every time and we're like you know you can buy a hundred hundred brushes for nothing compared to you know a, a brand new kit each time so John tell me do you, I, I know from the brushes the jags everything that we're seeing here on the table 100% American made mm -hmm. um, the pouches in whatever configuration you want, including the rolling armors kit that we talked earlier, that is 100% American made. We do not put any overseas uh, product in any of our uh, uh, kit, do we? No, sir. It's all American made. Everything is also sewn and made and very compliant, 100% very compliant here. Um, it's, it's just a great product. We want to make things that last and do it right. Awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I have to say from the Dameron family and the Dameron staff and the ProShot family and now with the new addition of the Cleanbore family, yeah. you've done a hell of a job, friend. Well, thanks, Rob. And I appreciate it. It's been a pleasure working with you the last I'm, few years. I'm hoping that we got many more years together, brother. We do. We'll have a lot more fun this year. Hey, thanks uh, uh, for tuning in today and uh, for watching us and learning more about our Ruck Series kits and our ProShot Defense military law enforcement side. Uh, stay tuned soon for some more episodes and more guests. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.